Now it's Stairway to Heaven. A lot of people consider it the most classic song of Led Zeppelin time. But it's my understanding that while you, you will perform it, it's not your favorite thing to perform. Well, it's not, no, it's not about it being my favorite or not. It's nothing, it, it, it's nothing to do with that, really. It's just that it belongs to a particular time. If I had been involved in the instrumentation, I would feel that it's a magnificent piece of music which has its own character and personality. It even speeds up in a similar way to some pieces of more highbrow music. But my contribution was to write lyrics and to sing a song about fate and something very British, almost abstract. Um, but they were coming out of the mind of a 23-year-old guy, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and it landed in the years and the era of 23-year-old guys. And I think as time goes on, you find you find that you may find another period of your life has got a little bit more substance or is more relative later on down the line, you know. So as much as I I like it. Um, I'm not wedded to that whole deal now. Now, true or untrue, that Cashmere is your your personal all-time favorite? Yeah, I think it probably... Well, it was a great achievement to take such a monstrously dramatic musical piece and find a lyric that <clears throat> was ambiguous enough and a delivery which was not over-pumped just it almost was like the antithesis of the music was this kind of lyric and this vocal delivery that was just about enough to get in there you know but it's your all time your personal all time favorite well i mean there's such a variety of songs that i guess i'd have to go along today i'd have to say yes but tomorrow maybe something yeah else. exactly do you consider music a profession or a craft or an art well, art's a heavy word, you know. Um, I think craft is the term I would use, the middle term, yeah. Yeah, because I think you grow into what might initially be an, an infatuation with the idea of entering something very special, right. very daring. And as a kid, as a young teenager, I, I was drawn to the lights because I came like so many kids out of my generation in Britain, we came from a kind of very grey post-war, you know, the kind of the residue of a lot of pain and strife. So I suppose kids in the mid-50s in Britain were just starting to wake up after the, you know, parents coming back from the war or, you know, being attracted to the footlights and the entertainment and the smell of a venue and the kind of... A, um, the anticipation in a crowd, I love that. I thought that was an amazing thing, you know, um, because I've, I've been a music fan and a fan of all things that are interesting and occasionally unique all my life. So I'm, all, I'm always a member of the audience and an entertainer, mm -hmm. really. So yeah, it's a craft. Sometimes it's clever, sometimes it's a real flop, you know.